Thanks everyone for stopping by and welcome to today's webinar, Earn One Appointment for 10 Contacts Using This Technique with MAPS Coach Anna Kruger. Please note this meeting is being recorded and will be available within 24 hours on the MAPS YouTube channel. We will share the link in the chat momentarily. Currently, everyone's on mute. However, we do value group participation, so we ask that if you have any questions for your coach, please type them into the chat box below. Following the meeting, if you have any questions about today's call or our other coaching programs, please email us at fasttrack@kw.com. And that's all for me, Anna. Take it away. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. It's good to see you. I recognize many of you from past webinars, so welcome back. If you're new, let me just do a quick introduction to who I am. I know what it's like to be in class and think, who is this person and why am I listening to her? So uh, my name is Anna Kruger and I've been doing inside sales, really sales over the phone since 2006. I used to be absolutely terrible at it. So I almost got fired from my very first team. Woohoo! And in that process, I realized I either need to learn inside sales or I need to switch careers because <laughs> I'm not serving anyone by being so bad at this position. So that really set me on a journey to learn language patterns. And that's what we're gonna learn today. We're gonna learn a language pattern today. And I just wanna encourage you that me not being a natural salesperson, I went from the lowest person on my team to the top person on my team for the next 10 months after I learned these language patterns. They absolutely work. Um, what we're gonna learn today is, um, there's really five steps to it. So make sure you get your pen and paper. Let me preface it with that. What we're gonna to learn today, you can expect these metrics. So I encourage you to write these down so that you have proper expectation. And what we're learning is what took me from almost being kicked off the team <laughs> to being a top performer on the team. And it's not because I'm some super special person, it's because of the language pattern. So you can absolutely do the same thing that I did uh, because it's the pattern more than it is the person. So today, some metrics you can expect as you implement what we're learning today. So jot these down. If you are calling web leads, so any internet lead, whether that be any website out there, your website, a different website, we see leads on average convert at 3%. So 3%, three out of 100 will turn into an appointment the day that they come in. Once people started using this technique, it jumped up to 6%, 6%. So it doubled the conversion from a lead to appointment set very quickly. Uh, some other metrics is when you call expireds, how many of you are seeing expireds? Will you tell me in the chat box? Cause I can't see all of you. So use the chat box for this. I'm curious how many of you are seeing expireds starting to show back up? I'm so excited about that. That's one great thing about the market shifting. Uh, when you call expireds using this technique, you can expect to have one appointment set out of 10 contacts. So that would be a 10% conversion, write that down. So web leads will go from 3% to 6%. Expires will go from whatever you have right now to 10% is a normal conversion. For sale by owners, how many of you call for sale by owners? Hopefully you do, they're a great lead source. You can expect 10% at least using this technique a lot of clients report even higher than that using this technique today, 10% average. So the point is you will see improvement as you use the technique we're learning today. Again, there's five steps to so get ready to write them down. Um, also make sure you hang on till the very end of the webinar today because I have a gift for those of you that are attending. Uh, it's only the second time we've done this. And so I wanna make sure you know about that at the end of class today. All right, so what's the magic trick here? Let me tell you. The first thing you want to remember is you are a real estate coach. If you want to write that down, go for it, because you are a real estate coach. You may think of yourself as a buyer agent, a listing agent, an inside sales agent, yet what you actually are is a real estate coach, because our job is to listen to people's stories and then strategize and educate to help them get what they want. So let me, let me say that again. This is This is a sentence that transformed my mindset when I really grabbed onto it and understood it. So the, the mindset shift here is my job is to listen to people's stories and then strategize and educate to help them get what they want. How many of you have felt before, like you're kind of trapped in the sales mindset of, I need a listing, I need a listing. Oh my gosh, I need this buyer to sign with me. I feel like I need leads. I'm feeling a little desperate. How many of you have felt this before? <laughs> I know I definitely have. 
And that mindset that I just shared with you, that we are their coach, we are here to listen to their story and then simply strategize and educate to help them get what they want. That was the mindset shift that changed my performance. Now I still needed patterns, language patterns and skills, but that mindset shift is the first step to starting to see a difference in the results. So I want you to just remember, you are talking to a human on the other end of the line and your goal is to really hear their story of what they want and then figure out how to help them get it. If, if we think about it, when in our lives do we need a coach? Use the chat box or you could unmute yourself. When in your life do you need a coach? And I love interaction, so go for it. When we feel that we have no direction. Yeah, so maybe we need some direction. <laughs> I love that everybody's typing in all the time. <laughs> yeah, we do always need a coach. I actually completely agree. When we feel that we're when we feel that we're stuck and we we can't go any higher, we just at a, a at a moment where we can't go any further. Yes, I love how you just worded that, and I we did not set that up right. We did not talk before this class, but you just said the perfect. You worded that perfectly. A lot of times we need a coach when we feel stuck. How many clients or potential clients do you talk to that they sound stuck on the phone? And what do what do people tell you? Buyers or sellers tell you that that sounds like they're stuck. Uh, I'm going to wait till next year. Uh, I think it's the market. I think I'm just going to take my house off the market. That's stuck, right? And so the thing that what I had in my head is we need a coach when we have a goal. If we don't have any goals, we probably don't need a coach, right? Basketball coaches, their job is to win, win games and get to the championship, right? That's the goal. Coaches, we have to have a goal. So what I want you to understand today is you have to know what your client's goal is. If we don't know what the client's goal is, no amount of sales, no amount of when do you want to meet with me or when do you want to move? If we don't know what their goal is, none of that is going to matter. Are y'all tracking with me? All right. So we've got to know what their goal is. So here's the first thing that I want you to write down. Step number one, when people say, I want to wait. I think it's the market, whatever thing they tell you that communicates, I'm not going to do it right now. What I want you to ask them is, when you were originally interested in moving, what made you want to do that? When you were originally interested in moving, what made you want to do that? Can you see how that would work for the people that are, oh, I'm going to put this off? Because when we go right away towards, but when are you going to list with the right agent? It's like a disconnect for what they just said. Because they just said, I'm going to put this off. I'm going to wait. But if you instead ask them, when you originally wanted to move, what made you want to do that? Everyone is going to have an answer. Can we agree? Every expired, even if today they're like, dude, I don't want to do it today. <laughs> if we ask them, yeah, but when you did want to do it. What made you want to move? They're going to have an answer for you. They will. When you're calling old web leads, how many of you call old leads that have been in your database forever and you call them and they are like, eh, I'm not interested or that, you know, that was so long ago. Can you see how if you asked them, uh, maybe I'm talking to Marilyn and I say, hey, Marilyn, I totally get that today this is off your radar, but I'm curious when you were originally on our website looking at houses, what made you want to do it back then? Can you see how that's going to get them talking, right? So that's step one. When you originally wanted to move, what made you want to do that, okay? Now, as they answer you, put down in your notes, ask three or four additional questions. And this is all part of step one. Step one is just really uncovering what was their original motivation. So if I'm talking to JP and I say, hey, JP, I totally get this is off your radar today. I am just curious though, when you originally looked into moving, what made you want to move? If he said, oh yeah, I was just going to downsize, but that's off my radar. Okay, that's fine. What made you want to downsize? Well, I was just trying to save some money. Okay, what, what was important to you about saving money? Are y'all tracking with me? So we're going to ask a couple questions. You usually want three or four to really dive into what that true motivation was. Once we've uncovered that, here is step number two. I told you there's five steps. Here's step number two. I'm going to say to JP, and I'm just making up some motivation here. 
Hey, JP, on a scale of zero to 10, this is what you write down. On a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you to, and then fill in their motivation. So you're writing down number two, on a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you to fill in motivation? So in that example I just made up, I would say, hey, JP, on a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you to downsize so that you can save money and travel? And then he'll give me a number. Any questions so far? Okay. Now, let me interrupt real quick. I was at the hospital once with someone in pain and the doctor said, on a scale of zero to 10, how bad is your pain? And I asked him later, I was like, how do you use that? Because what if one person says seven and another person says three, but actually it's the same as each other? And he said, oh, I don't really care about that. What I'm looking for is simply a baseline so that the next time I ask, I can know if it's higher or lower. That's it. I'm not actually really caring what the initial number is. I'm just trying to find out what's their baseline. And then the next time I ask, is it an eight or a nine? Or has it dropped to a three or a four? That's it. That's all. So that helped me because I always, have you ever wondered that? Like, how are they using this? Okay, that's how. So that first question, I'm just wanting to see where they are today. So let's say they say, I'm a eight. I'm a eight. Your third step, so write this down. Your third step is what makes it an eight? Or write down what makes it a, and then put a blank. Now, if they said a 10, don't skip this part. Wow, it's a 10. What makes it a 10? That's so high. If they say it's a two, wow, what makes it a two for you? If they say it's a seven, great. What makes it a seven for you? So it really doesn't matter what they tell you. They could say, girl, I am a 15 on a scale of zero to 10. And you would say, that is awesome. What makes you a 15? That's so high. So the point here is, I don't care what number they tell you. Your, your next step is simply what makes it a, give them the number, okay? As they answer you, and you could put this in your notes if you want, you're going to hear some motivation talk and some objection talk. Because what they usually do is they might say something like this. They might say, you know, Doug, I'm an eight. And that's because I really want to live closer to my grandkids at the beach. That's really important to me. But the reason I'm not a 10 is I have no idea what my house is worth and I'm really nervous about today's interest rates. So do you see how magical this question is? Because basically I'm saying, what's your motivation and what are all of your objections? But I'm wording it as, okay, on a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you? And then next, great, what makes it that number? And it makes it very easy for them to just share with me exactly what's going on. How do you like it so far? Feel like you could do this? I know that you could do this. Awesome. All right, so now the next step, the next step. We've just said zero to 10, what number are you? Then we said, what makes it that number? The next question, so this is your fourth step, your fourth step is gonna be, what would need to happen for you to be a 10? Now, if they said they were a 10 plus, then you would say, what would need to happen to keep you a 10? So you could write this down as what would need to happen for you to be or to keep you at a 10. And now they're telling you how to solve their problems. <laughs> this is why it works so good, guys. So you say, well, what would need to happen for you to be a 10? And maybe Doug would say, honestly, I just need to know what my house is worth. By the way, can we solve that? Yes or yes, absolutely, we can solve that. And then he says, I also would need to know what can I afford at the beach with whatever my house is worth plus interest rates and all that. Well, we can figure that out. Now I can't tell him that right now in this exact moment, we have some research to do, but we can fix that, right? He really just needs information and we can get that figured out. We gotta price his house. We're gonna need to see what kind of equity he has. We're probably gonna need to have him talk to a lender because he's worried about interest rates. But this is all figure outable, right? So then the last step, and I'll recap all of these steps in just a moment for you. The last step is to confirm it. So you're going to say, all right, what I'm hearing you say is blah, blah, blah. You would be a 10? So I would say back to Doug, 
All right, Doug, I think what I'm hearing you say is if we can figure out what your house is worth and we can figure out what you can afford at the beach with today's interest rates, if we can get all that figured out, you would be a 10? And if they say yes, drop the mic, we know what to do. <laughs> and if they say no, that probably means they just realized, ooh, I actually have another objection. And then we'll figure out what that is. Okay, well, what, what would need to happen then for you to be a 10 could be a follow-up question. All right, so let me re-say the steps and then I'll give you some scenarios of how this can go. And then we'll open it up to questions. And remember, I have a gift for you, so don't hop off just yet. All right, so question number one, when you originally looked into moving, what had you thinking about moving? So basically the idea here is number one, we're emotionally taking them back in time to when they were really excited. So when you originally wanted to do this, what made you wanna do it? By the way, how many of you joined a gym? You don't have to raise your hand, by the way. How many of you joined a gym and then your motivation is kind of phased out? Who has the Planet Fitness fees, $20.05 every month, but you don't know the last time you went, okay? But if we said, hey, for you, what was it back when you signed up for the gym and you decided that that was the right thing to do? What made you want to do it back then? And then I asked you questions. Why was that important? What made you want to do it? What was the reasoning that you wanted to go to the gym that much? Can we all just agree, even right now on this call, you're probably feeling a little bit like, oh, yeah, let's, let's go to the gym. I just needed a reminder of why I wanted to do it. You needed a coach. You're their real estate coach. I'm getting all passionate. So number one, when you originally requested, what made you want to do it? Number two, okay, great. On a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you to, and then fill in the blank with whatever they just said. How motivated are you to go back to the gym? How motivated are you to buy a house close to your family? Whatever it is. Um, so what made you originally want to move? Scale zero to 10, how motivated are you? The next question, so number three, what makes it a, whatever number they told you. Number four, what would need to happen for you to be, or what would need to happen for you to stick? excuse me, for you to stay a 10. And then the last question, number five, is the confirmation. So what you're saying is, if we can, you know, X, Y, Z, you would be a 10? Okay, great. And then actually, I'm going to add a sixth step for you. Can I do that? I just thought of how this actually sounds on the phone, and there is another step. You would then say, great, let's see what we need to do to make that happen. I have some questions for you. That's just a good transition into pre-qualifying them, okay? So back to Doug, <laughs> Doug's example. Can you okay, great. Um, one, one second. So I would say, okay, great, Doug. Let's see what we need to do to make that happen for you. I have some questions. And then I would go into asking him about the house he has to sell. And then eventually I would ask him about what kind of house he wants to buy. And probably about 10 minutes later, I would give him some next steps, either setting an appointment with him, or maybe I would say, hey, you need to call a lender. We, I would determine his next step based on the rest of the conversation. Okay. Another little golden nugget for you is make sure every time you hang up with someone, you have an agreed upon next step. That's just a little golden nugget for you. So it might be, hey, Doug, look how much, look up how much you owe on the house and then talk to a lender and then call me back by five o'clock today with an update. Or it might be, an appointment, <laughs> which is the next step. That would be a great next step is an appointment. Okay, so I'll say them again because I think several of you are like, wait, what? what is it? So again, number one, when you originally wanted to move, what made you want to do that? And then ask an additional three or four questions. So you're going to hang out there for maybe two to three minutes, just finding out why they originally wanted to move. Number two, on a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you to fill in the blank? downsize, upsize, whatever they said. Uh, number, number three is what would need to happen for you to be a 10 or stay a 10? I'm sorry, I mix up the order. That I was right up until this very last time re-saying it to you. So it's when you originally requested, what made you wanna move? What makes it that number? Um, or, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have too many steps. Okay, let me back up. When you originally wanted to move, what made you want to move? Next, on a scale of zero to 10, how motivated are you to make that happen? 
After that, you're going to ask them, what makes it that number? Then you're going to say, what would need to happen for you to either be or stay a 10? And then you're going to ask them the, really the confirmation is, okay, so what you're saying is if we can do blah, 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 whatever they just said, you would be a 10? Okay, great. Let's see what we need to do to make that happen. <laughs> Did you all get that? <laughs> yeah, got Perfect. it. Perfect. Justin, thank you for putting that into the chat box. I appreciate it. Okay, let me tell you all about the gift I wanna give you and then I will open it up to questions for anyone that needs to hop off the line. So how many of you do you believe that you will benefit from today? You think that you'll probably get some more clients? Because remember, if you miss the beginning, you can usually double your internet lead conversion and you can get your expired and FISBO to 10%. On average, people that use this go from a 5% contact to set to a 10% contact to set conversion. Okay, it will depend on the lead sources you're using, but that's an average across lead sources. So this is one pattern of 19. Um, and I did that really fast, really, really fast. If you want more like this, two weeks from today, we have a class starting called Mastering Inside Sales. Now don't let the word inside sales throw you off because some of you are listing agents, buyer agents. Really the class is about the art of relationship-based sales. Every class, about 50% of people are agents and about 50% are inside sales agents. The point is, if you talk to humans and you want to help them turn into clients, the class will help you, okay? So we're going to teach 19 language patterns. We're also going to give you four tracking systems. We're also going to talk about mindset. And really, the class is everything that we wish we knew when we were new into real estate sales. Everything we wish we knew. We made a list. I sent it out to top performers in various roles in real estate. And I was like, what am I missing? And that is how we formed this class. What are all the things we wish we knew when we were in real estate sales? So that class is starting two weeks from today. It's called Mastering Inside Sales. You can simply go to masteringinsidesales.com to sign up and here's the gift. We have only done this one other time and it was last week. <laughs> so this is the second time. If you sign up and register and put in the code WEB15 and you're gonna scrunch it together, oops, that has a typo. It's WEB15, W-E-B-1-5, all squished together, no spaces. You'll get a 15% discount each month for six months, okay? So that's a huge savings. We don't usually offer that to people. This class used to be $800 a month and when COVID hit, we dropped it to $199 a month. So it's already massively, shaved off price and that's an extra 15% for you. Just for people on this webinar, so don't share it. It's just for you all, the 400 some of you that registered. Okay, so masteringinsidesales.com, web 15, that starts two weeks from today, two weeks from today. And you get a lot of things much like what you got today. You get lots of language patterns and things like that. Okay, we have about seven minutes. So if you need to hop off, feel free to do that. If you have questions either about the class or about what we learned today, go ahead and speak up. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I see whenever I'm trying to find motivation or do questions like this, they turn questions on to me about commission and stuff like that. And that's what the, um, yeah. yeah. So that's when you say, especially if you're on a phone call, you say, that's a great question. We'll get to that in just a second and you stay on motivation. So that's actually like a whole hour of the classes. We talk about how do you manage that? Um, but the short answer is if they interrupt you as you're asking about motivation, you say, that's a really good question. Let me write that down. We'll come back to it. Let me keep hearing about why you wanna move and we'll come to that in just a second. And then there's a two hour class. Uh, there's two weeks in a row, an hour. Jacob, where we talk about how do you handle objections? So there's no way I can give that all to you in the next six minutes, but here's the short answer. Can I give you the short answer? <laughs> yeah. um, what you're going to do is say, I'm really glad you asked. What's important to you about my commission? Right. They don't actually care what your commission is. What they actually want to know is that they can get the most amount of money if they work with you. Yeah. So my team, we used to charge 7%. So trust me, we hit this objection all the time. And I would just say, that's a great question. What's important to you about my commission rate? And almost inevitably, they would say, well, I just want to make sure I get the most amount of money. Okay, tell me more about that. And usually we didn't even end up talking about commission. We were talking about how our team helps them earn the most amount of money. But I will say in the class, we spend 
two one hour sessions on how to handle objections, but that is the very, very short condensed answer to that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I, I have a question. Um, okay. I actually had somebody that I was working with and um, one of those questions where it says, I'm just gonna wait to the market, you know, gets better. She did go through my lender already, had already done that whole process, um, found out that she had a few things that she had to take care of um, okay. in the back end. Um, and she just now said that she's now deciding to rent Okay. Um, it was like under a thousand or whatever, and she said her she's not going to because her husband died, and she's not going to get okay. her just not going to get her social security or whatever till next year. So she said next year. Okay. So Jane, the main thing here is the first thing we always want to ask every client about. The first thing we always talk to them about is their motivation before we ever talk about anything else. It's what's important to you about buying a home. So I would just reevaluate if you had that conversation with her. And if not, go back and talk to her. Now she's already locked into a lease. That might be a, bit, a different conversation. But talk to them about what's important to you about buying a home. And for all of you listening, this question can benefit everybody. Every client we talk to, the very first thing is what's your motivation? What's making you want to move? Once we know what that is, then we can work them through when they say, I want to wait. We can say, well, what's making you want to wait? I heard you say you want to build equity for your future or whatever it is. So what's the benefit of waiting? And then they, a lot of times objections are a lack of education. In this case, if she's concerned about the market, it likely is a lack of education, but we, we would have to know more from the conversation. So Jane, I would just go back and talk to her about motivation. Um, now she's already in a lease, then it might be that, you know, we're going to need to catch her next time, but moving forward, always get motivation first. And then when they give you objections, find out, is this a lack of education? Like they misunderstand something about the market or is it a lack of motivation? They actually just don't want to move because the bottom line is she is paying someone's mortgage. It's just not her own. Now, real right. quick, we had a ton of questions come into the chat box about class. So let me answer that real quick because we're going to run out of time. Um, and then Jane, if you have more questions, just throw them in the chat box real quick. I'm trying to get to everybody here. Um, so several questions I see, are there handouts? What day of the week and what time? Is there a manual? So the class meets weekly, one hour a week. The reason we do that, I used to teach it really condensed, like a whole lot of information in a short period of time. Clients were not seeing the increase in success nearly as much as when we spread it out over one hour a week. So we found that when we actually slowed the class down into smaller chunks, People were having much better success with their results. So it meets one hour a week, three weeks a month. The reason we do three and not four, that gives you a week to really practice everything. So usually the fourth week of the month, we say, go back and watch any webinar that you still need some help with. So that next month, you're good to go for more information. Make sense? So we meet three weeks a month for an hour. It's going to be on Wednesdays. Every class is recorded. So somebody messaged me privately and said, I have bold on Wednesdays. That's awesome. Go to bold. I, I'm a huge fan of bold. That's why we record it so that we can rewatch it later if you need to. So we have a lot of people who say, I'm never on there live with you, but I watch it every Thursday morning. That's totally fine. That's why we record it. You get workbooks, you get uh, trackers, you get handouts, you get all kinds of things uh, in the client portal. I think I answered all of this. Did I miss anything? Yes, there's handouts. What time for that one hour? Um, Rodrigo, do you know off the top of your head? I think it's going to be, oh, it's going to be 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock Eastern. Um, so 2 to 3 Eastern. But again, it's recorded. So if that conflicts with something in your schedule, you can always catch the recording. Also, you can have two people per one registration, but they do have to be from the same team. So guys, just keep in mind, this class used to be $800 a month for one person. Now it's $1.99 a month for two people, but you have to be on the same team. And it's web 15 gets you an extra 15% off every month for six months. Okay. So we've been really you working. Also the it. link here in the chat, the, the, the class registration. Yep. It's masteringinsidesales.com. And I'll put that link in there as well. Mastering inside sales. So I have a question again. So it's three, it's three weeks and then there's a week off is yes. that is that how i'm understanding it yep and the reason we do that is i've, I've taught this 
content since 2008. So mm -hmm. I've taught it a lot. Okay. And what I've learned is that's the magic formula for people to remember it. So we could teach it faster, but then students are telling us, I feel like I'm in a fire hose. I can't remember all this. So when we switched it to here's three weeks of content, that's three hours a month, take a week off, but use that week okay. that we're not officially teaching to practice, 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 get it in your head because next month we're doing another three hours. That was the magic formula for people to remember it. Okay. So that's why it takes the six months. Yeah. So it's 18 sessions, six months, but that's why I'm a high D. If you know anything about disc, I am like super fast paced, Right, right. very fast paced. Right. Trust me. It would be faster if that was better for you. But from teaching this for so long, we've just learned mm -hmm. you will remember the information so much better when we slow it down. So that's and why did you answer the question about us taking our own notes or not. Yeah, you can take notes in that class, but we do also provide workbooks. Okay. So the last question is, I went to sign up for it and it asked for something that I don't know what that is. Oh, is it a, is it a KWID, something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You should just be able to type in none. So if you're with, you do not have to be with Keller Williams. The class is run through Keller Williams, but you do not, you can be from any brokerage. I've even had a photographer take this class. Okay. So anybody can take it. If you have a Ke Keller Williams ID, you would put it right there. If you don't have a Keller Williams ID, just put none. I just don't remember what it is. I'll put none. Okay. <laughs> that should work too. Uh, it's $170 per month. Is that what it is? It's normally $199 a month. It used mm -hmm. to be $800. Yep. So I did actually, um, when I when I cold call, I did ask some of the most motivational questions. And mm -hmm. the, the objection was, I don't know you. Yeah. So... As you, so a lot of times if they say that, there's something that they're not comfortable with about us. And so in the class, we go really deep into how to build rapport with people. But I'll give you a, a quick little trick is if they say, oh, I want to downsize. And they're being surfacy because they don't know you. Use their exact words in your next question. So what's important to you about downsizing? Not what's important to you about a smaller home because they didn't say smaller home. They said downsizing. Little tricks like that will help you build rapport. I've had clients before, to, and again, it's not me, it's the pattern. I'm, it's nothing special about Anna Kruger, it's the pattern. I've had people say, I don't know what it is about you, but I've talked to so many realtors and you're the only one I've actually wanted to talk to. But what they don't know is the whole time I've been repeating words back to them. So if they said, I wanna get out of this joint, I would say, man, what makes you wanna get out of that joint? Not what makes you wanna move, because that's not what they said. So there's a lot in the class where we cover how to build rapport, how do you handle it. That's why it's 18 weeks. It's, there's a lot to cover that we can't answer in a 30-minute webinar when we're at the end. You know what I mean? So that's why we created the class because there's a lot to being really good at relationship-based sales. It's not something that is, is quick. But that's a quick little answer for you. Is do, it's called keyword backtracking. Use their words back to them. I like what Jordan said. No, you don't know me and I don't know you, but I'd love to get to know you and your goals. Yeah. Um, JP said, does the class cover circle prospecting? We cover how to open a call for circle prospecting and how to, how to, how do you handle those kind of calls? Basically every class has about 10 minutes at the end for questions. And I'm also available for questions outside of class too. Um, the first class, we don't have a lot of time for questions because I give you a lot in class one, but pretty much every other class, there's usually 10-ish minutes at the end for questions. Yay, Teresa just signed up. I'm curious how many of you just signed up because it's going to make me excited to know I'll see you in two weeks. It's my favorite hour of the week. I am most likely to get a speeding ticket on Wednesdays because it's webinar day. I love it. Yay, several of you are private messaging me. Or I just got a private message about it. Okay. What I will tell you, if this helps, sometimes it helps to have numbers. Um, and keep in mind, you can have two people from, they have to be within your team, but you can have two people per registration. Um, but I had someone tell me that within two months of the class, they had 10 extra held appointments, not 10 extra set, not 10 extra people that I talked to, not 10 extra nurtures. Added to, they had 10 extra held appointments per month added because of what they learned just in the first two months of class. Well, the average conversion rate, guys, let's just do this real quick. I should know it off the top of my head, but I'm going to do my calculator. So 10 extra helds. If 80% of those sign, that's eight, that's eight, that's easy. 
And if 80% of those close, which is average, that's 6.4 extra closings a month by month two. Now my guess would be the person who told me they're having 10 extra closings a month, they probably were practicing, they were role playing, they weren't just showing up listening while checking Facebook. So it is an investment. It's a lot more affordable than it used to be and it's still 199 a month or whatever 15% of that off is for you guys. Um, that's still an investment. So I would make sure, am I prepared to show up either live or recordings? Am I going to be taking notes and am I someone who's going to practice? But I guarantee you, if you practice what you get from this, you will learn. The first class that I ever taught this to, they were all brand new sales agents, had no idea what they were doing. Within the first six months, they were the number one team in the state of Maryland. And by the end of the first year, they were the number one team in the entire Northeast region. And that's, this has been going on now since 2008. So the content works. It's really going to depend on if, how you show up to class. And I'm going to bring my A game every day. Okay. And then you bring your A game and we should be good. Jane, you do not have to be on a team. We have a lot of single agents in here. You do not have to be on a team. We have buyer agents, listing agents. I even had a photographer from my class or from my church say, can I take your class? And I was like, you can, I know that the techniques will help you, but we're not talking about photography. Like you're gonna need to translate in your mind all the time when I say real estate, you're gonna need to translate that to your photography world. Well, within about three months, she quit showing up to class. So I saw her at church and I was like, is everything okay? I haven't seen you in class. And she was like, girl, I have been so busy. That's why I'm watching the recordings. I've been so busy now with work. That's why you don't see me anymore. It's worked, but it worked. So I was like, okay, awesome. I thought maybe she was struggling because it wasn't a real estate. So the point is, you don't even have to be in real estate to take this class. But yeah, you don't have to be on a team. You could be a single agent. Um, it is six months long, Marcus. It's 18 weeks, three calls a month for six months. And then we give you access to the recordings for two extra months. So you have eight months of access, but it's a six month class. Okay, I think I answered all the questions. Jane, to go back to your question and then we're gonna close out just because of time. Um, yeah, I would call her back and just say, hey, I was thinking about you. And I was curious, what made you wanna buy a house versus rent a house when you first checked into this? And my guess would be she, she misunderstands something about the market. And unless she can get out of that lease, you know, I, we're gonna need to understand what her lease looks like if she was rented something. But Jane, I would try to find out why she originally wanted to buy. And nobody minds somebody calling them and saying, hey, you know what? I was thinking about you and I'm just curious, you know, and get more information that makes people feel heard and listened to. And that's the whole idea. This is relationship-based sales. This isn't, you know, this is a relationship. We are their coach. If you have the mindset, I, just, I am this person's coach. What is their goal? How do I help them get it? You will have enough sales. You will have enough sales. If that's your mindset and you learn language patterns, you will be just fine. Yep, August 3rd, that is two weeks from today. So actually two weeks from today, we will have just finished our class 10 minutes ago. Hopefully you will be there. Web 15. All right, guys, I think we are, we are well over time. I don't wanna keep Rodrigo. <laughs> Thanks Rodrigo for hanging out. He's our moderator today. Thank you guys for being here. And if you got something from today, will you tell someone about the class? masteringinsidesales.com, spread it around, let people know. A lot of people don't know the class exists. And can we all just agree that right now with the market shifting more than ever, we need to know how to be relationship-based, trusted advisors. But a lot of people don't know about this class. So if you can let them know, I would really appreciate it. I awesome. know. Oh. Yeah, I know. Can you hear me? Bucket. What's that? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, I'm Marlene. I'm from South Africa and I absolutely oh enjoyed your class. Um, this is amazing. We were talking about how our market is shifting. I actually wrote in, um, in, in a comment box, and please, you guys have to understand our rand versus the dollar is something ridiculous. Uh, we pay 17 rand for one dollar. Um, I would appreciate it if you can give us another free class sometime or the other. This is so inspirational. I'm going to use it. We, you know, I was sitting here like, Great. oh my goodness, I have to use all of this. So please, 
<laughs> we really That's appreciate awesome. it. We can give- well, what's funny, I said, I have, uh, like, I am a little enamored with South Africa. So I'm like super excited right now that we have people on here right now from South Africa. That's exciting. <laughs> so here's what I'll tell you. Next week, we're doing another free webinar. Um, Rodrigo, I don't know if you have the link to that, if there's a way to post how to sign up for it. The other thing, if you can give me one second, and then I will need to close out because of time. And we do I have another class to teach here in just a second. So do you have to get off? Um, I do have an email list that I send out video tips through email. And if you give me just a minute, I'll post the link for where you can sign up to get my email tips. And in the emails, you get a tip. Like I emailed a a tip this morning. Um, If you didn't get it, but you want to, just give me one second. And in the email, we also tell you about any classes coming up. So free classes, official classes like Mastering Inside Sales. Okay. Great, thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward. But you guys must have a great day. It's, by the way, um, already um, over nine o'clock in the evening here in South Africa. And um, if you're all wondering, I'm staying very close to Kruger Park. It's immaculate, beautiful oh my gosh, place, yes. South Africa. So yes. But anyway, I'm gonna wait. Guys, have an awesome day. Have a great day, Keller Williams. I'll speak with you later. I'm waiting for awesome. you. Awesome. Good to see you. Well, before you hop off Thank in the chat box, I just put a Google form to fill out if you wanted to be added to my email list to get video tips as well as upcoming webinars. And then I posted the video we shared today. It's my favorite video we've ever made. How many of you like the show Friends? I love the show Friends. My marketing person inserted a whole bunch of friends into my video. I thought it was funny. I've watched it like three times because I think it's so funny. (laughs) So I just put the link to that video in the chat box. And then once again, I'll put the form for the email list, but grab it because as soon as we close this video that Zoom, the link is gonna disappear. So grab the link real quick. All right, talk to you later. Thanks a lot. All right, bye guys. Everybody have the link before we close out. Okay. Hopefully I'll see y'all in two weeks. Sign up for the email list if you're not on there now and I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day.